This is Professor Dariff Seitz, Laws of Exponents. For those of you who have been away from mathematics for some time, you may be rusty in this area and it will be a good review. For others, as you practice and become proficient, you can only uh, use this as a reference in case you forget one or get confused. Fundamentally, exponents use the superscript notation. And let's start right over here. Two to the third, the meaning of it is the base two multiplied by itself three times. So it's a shorthand notation for repeated multiplication. It's not two times three, which would be six. It's two times two times two, which equals eight. And you work it out. This first law is more of a definition in order for the other laws to work out correctly. Anything, which we represent by A here, anything to the zero power is defined to be one. We'll call it the zero power rule. Example, two to the zero is one. First power rule, anything to the first power is just itself. It makes no uh, added information to put that exponent up there. And when you use one of these other rules and you get a one, you can just drop it. Negative exponents. A negative exponent, a to the negative n, is defined to be the reciprocal of the positive exponent, one over a to the, to the n without the minus. This means effectively when you have fractions, you can move negative exponents across the fraction bar to the other side and make them positive, whether you move them down, as in this case, or if you move them up. And similarly, if you move a positive one up or down, you have to change its sign to negative. The product rule of exponents with the same base, a to the m times the same base a to the n, the answer is a to the sum of the exponents, m plus n. Let's look at an example before we leave the negative exponents here. Two to the negative one is one over two to the first power, which is just one over two or one half. Back to our product rule, two to the third times two squared, add there two to the fifth, which equals 32. Quotient rule with the same base, you subtract the exponents. Two to the fifth divided by two squared is two to the five minus two or two to the third, eight. Product to a power rule. The product a, b in parentheses, the whole product taken to the nth power. You can drop the parentheses by taking each factor to the power. It's equal to a to the n times b to the n. Example, two times three squared is two squared times three squared. And that's four times nine or 36. Of course, a quicker way would be multiply two times three inside the parentheses first because they have highest priority. Six squared is 36. Quotient to a power rule. A divided by B, that whole fraction to the nth power, is A to the n, the numerator, over B to the n, the denominator to the power. Example, 2 thirds squared is the same as 2 squared over 3 squared, 4 over 9. Power to a power, A to the m, that expression to the nth power. Drop the parentheses by multiplying the exponents. 2 to the 3rd to the 4th power is the same as 2 to the 12th, which happens to be 4096. This last row shows equivalences, how you can go back and forth between fractional exponents and radicals. a to the m over n is the nth root of a to the m, and that's the same as the nth root of a to the m. 
in all cases, to move to the radical form, the denominator becomes the root. And the numerator goes either on the inside or on the outside. Example, eight to the two thirds power, the three becomes the root, cube root of eight. And we'll put the square root on the outside here. Cube root of eight is two because two cubed is eight. And then we have two squared is four.